Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here and it's time for a midweek shave. I'm using a new razor today that I ordered from Canada. I bought it, it came from Canada, not associated with the company, but I've heard great, great, great things about it. And we're here to see, you know, if what I've heard is true. And the razor I'm talking about is the Christopher Bradley Brass Razor from Carve Shaving Company, made in Canada. Just arrived yesterday. Actually, it arrived quicker than I thought. Well, no, all in all, a couple of weeks. You know, sometimes stuff from Canada takes forever. But uh, just arrived today. I just took this out of the shipping box. And, uh, hey man, that is customer service. When they put a personal note in there, that is just awesome. Thank you, Chris. I like the personal note. And uh, cool, get a little sticker. Air travel tells you rules and regulations if you're taking this on a plane. And how to use the razor. And I see they have a little rubber or plastic washer on that. And I'm gonna respect that and keep that because that actually keeps a nice snug seal and it prevents the brass to brass rubbing which sometimes can cause, I've seen, you know, discoloring or, you know, brass on brass. Uh, this, this razor is brass. So it's going to, uh, uh, let's say patina, tarnish. Anyway, but uh, here we go. Wow. A nice weight. And right away, see where the overhang is? Got a little thumb and finger groove. By the way, let's take a good example. See that? I've got a little bit of the shakes in my old age, probably because of the medication I take for uh, cholesterol and uh, uh, what is it? Blood pressure. So people are saying, hey man, how come you don't use a straight razor? And uh, I get this on every video, somebody asks, why don't you use a straight razor? And my answer always, I'm too shaky. Imagine straight razor. Burp, 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 burp. Safety razor, no issue. So the plate I have today is the B plate. Can you see that? I like when you get a razor and it shows you where, what, from where, name of the company, and what you're getting. This is the B plate. And I actually have the C plate here. So I'm going to use the B today. I'm going to try it out see how she does with some blades that I, I mean, I'm telling you, thanks again, Lewis, sent me so many of my favorite blades. People say, what's your favorite blades? These are them, the Gillette Wilkinson sword, see, from India. And if you buy these individual, uh, it's free shipping from India on eBay, and it's say like six bucks, and that includes shipping or best offer. So I can't imagine what these actually cost in India. They're probably, because it's probably four or five bucks just to ship it to me. But uh, this is the saloon pack. I guess I'm hitting a couple of, uh, couple of comments there. 10 blades, 50 blades here in the saloon pack. So I'm gonna be using one of my, right out of the pack, from India, one of the blades today. It's a little bit different look than the one from China. One from China, I've had no issues with, but I'm used to this one. So let us load that razor up. Oh, wristwatch check. Seiko, save the ocean, turtle. Check this out. Turn off the light. Think you can see that in the dark? Fantastic. Fantastic. What is it? 435. You can see that no problem. Now if I can find the switch to turn it back on. There we go. All right. Let the camera adjust. Wow. Takes a while for that camera to come back into correct color. All right. I don't think I've shut my lights off in the bathroom before during a video. All right. Gillette Wilkinson sword. We're going to load that up. Three piece Razor, wow, snug fit. There is the 
plastic grommet they're talking about. Take that plastic grommet off right there. There's your locking mechanism. And that's the bottom of the base plate. We'll open up the Wilkie. Makes it really nice to hold. In we go. Base plate on. Rubber grommet. I've noticed the threaded tang that comes out of there, the threaded bolt, so it seems a tad longer than most I've seen, which is nice. So it's giving it more grab. And look, there's your overhang. You can grab that blade easy. That's what I like. And I've said that, I like that in a razor. All right, very good. I grabbed the first brush. You've seen it before. This isn't an advertisement for a Ken Surf's brush, but it's the summer edition. I'm gonna use this uh, Badger. I'm using for the first time that I've used it, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Boomtown Bay Rum, Leather, Gunpowder, and West Indian Bay. I actually got this in a soap trade. One of my uh, friends, uh, Adam, uh, uh, said, hey, I've got some soaps that I don't really care for. Uh, you seem to like Bay Rum. Would you like to try this? And I said, sure. He sent it to me and I sent him some, so it was kind of cool. Bay Rum. I have not tried this one yet. For the aftershave. Small batch paper. Try that again. Small batch shave tonic from Derby City Chop Shop. This is my second bottle. I bought two bottles. They come out. They're the Winter Reserve. First bottle is done. Using this one now. Someone said in a comment. I was just reviewing some of my comments. Uh, is it worth it? I think it is. Yes, it just smells incredible. Smells excellent. Be using that today. I think we are set, gents. Sorry about the long intro. Let's rock. Did you have a good weekend? God, I went out with my wife. I went out with my buddies. And I went with my brother last night. So I saw Hustlers with uh, J-Lo. I saw Ad Astra. And I saw Rambo Last Blood. And... Uh, Rambo took a little while to get going, but man, that ending was crazy. Let me set this, ah, oh, forgot to soak it in the skull. Somebody said that the crystal skulls are readily available. He said he just bought a few of them from TJ Maxx. Uh, Halloween is on the way. Everybody's got their uh, Halloween items up. This just makes, this is a crystal skull candle holder. If you search for it, search for that. Uh, just kind of makes a cool looking addition to the shave day. It's not that it's my trademark or anything, but all right. PAA soap. Again, this is a razor review, but I have not used this soap before, so we'll try that out. So far, the glue I've used to hold that, uh, ah, damn it. Not enough water, too dry. Too dry. Get that question too. If you had to use one soap, one pre-shave, one blade, from now on, what would it be? And I'd use Prep or Parasso Green pre-shave. I'd probably use Taylor of Old Bond Street Grapefruit Soap or Parasso Green. And uh, you didn't ask about aftershaves. I won't comment on that. Wow, my hands are wet. See, I can grip this good. This has some good weight to it. The weight alone, very good.
the B plate, it's kind of funny too, A, B, C. I'm used to the aggression plates or the numbers, one, two, three, four. Where the lower number is the mildest. Bigger number is more aggressive. It's 4.40. My wife should be home in about 15 minutes, my daughter in about 45 minutes to an hour, and I get to go to Disneyland again tonight. I've got that. I just renewed my uh, Southern California, uh, I think it's just called the Southern California Passport or the Southern California Select. Uh, 390 bucks. A lot of money for a passport, but I went 16 times to Disneyland on that passport last year. So my wife hasn't seen Star Wars Land and she's very reluctant to go on rides. So tonight they have a booth set up for the annual pass holders. And you get that annual pass holder car magnet. Uh, I'll show you it if I get it. I hope I, I hope, hope I go and they still have some because they stopped selling those at eight tonight. And uh, yeah, get a look around the park. There's another item. I'll pause this after I put the soap on. They have some cool souvenirs in Star Wars land. Again, I don't work for Disneyland. I like it. I love that place. I live in Southern California. I live 15 minutes from the park. I've never been to Magic Mountain. I live about 90 minutes to uh, maybe two hours from that. Never been. So I can't give you my comments on that, but Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm, I live close. The best time to go to Knott's Berry Farm is Halloween, not Scary Farm. If you check out some of my previous videos, you'll see Elvira's last live performance, I think two years ago at uh, Knott's Berry Farm. Let me show you what I'm getting tonight. Available only in Star Wars land. This is regular Coca-Cola. Looks like the thermal grenade they use in uh, uh, Star Wars. I'm going to get a diet. They have this, regular Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite. And I think that's pretty awesome. A lot of people go, ah, Star Wars. You know, I like the movie. What can I tell you? And I don't know how long we'll be selling those. I think I'll put them on the shelf back here. It's not shaving related, but it's kind of memorabilia. That soap is thick. I'm using a thirsty badger brush on it. Did you guys who have your YouTube channel see your YouTube counts? They round up now or round down. It's always an even number. I don't know what the purpose of that was, but. I don't think it rounds up. I think it rounds down. So I can always tell when I'm coming close to doing a 14,000 subscriber giveaway, but now since it's rounding, I'm not sure. And that just happened starting last week. Soap's drying on me. Let's see? Very thick soap. never tried it before. Keep it a little wet if you're using it. I'll have links to everything in, in this video, whether you like it or not. Douglas seems to have a 
couple of fans for whatever reason. Anytime I use one of the PA's uh, product, it's always those thumbs down guys at one or two. I don't know what their beef is. I like the stuff. It worked good for me. All right. Derby City Chop Shop. You don't want to put too much of this on. It's very, very strong. There's usually a stopper. You can use your finger as the stopper, see? Let a little in your hand. As it comes out fast. And it burns hard. But it smells good. And it's the winter reserve. It's the first day of fall, right, this week? So winter reserve should be being released soon if it's not already in there. Again, I'll put a link. All right. Carve razor. Damn, I like it. It's going to go right here in front. It's going to be in my rotation. I like the innovation, those little, little things that they do. I like that because now I can take that blade out of there very easily. Well, I won't. I'm going to leave it in because I usually do two shaves with the blade. I will rinse it. One new guy asked me, he says, what do you do when you're done with your... Uh, your soap. I'll turn on my, uh, I don't know if you can see, I'm running it underwater and getting the soap out of it. Getting the soap out of the badger and rinsing out or off. Shake the badger good. I didn't get it all out yet, but I shake it good. And then I rinse that out. Let it dry before sealing it. Yeah, you don't want to leave it moist in there. Ah, might have got me. It sure smells good. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your comments. I try to read each and every one of them. I'm a little behind. I will catch up. All right, till next time. It's Ken Searching. Have a great night.